Deborah. Hey, William. You want to be on top? Yeah. Yes. Are we doing the red carpet? We're doing the red carpet. Are you ready? <laughs> Let's do this! There were a lot of ladies at Eurovision 2017, but only a few of them turned up and turned out on the red carpet. They were looking fierce. The ladies, they were really bringing it, and we've got to talk about our readers' favorites. Fifth place, guess who it went to? My absolute favorite, L Germany's Lavina. She was amazing. Daska felt mere honey. You were looking Zare Heist. Is that how you say hot? I don't know. She looked like a L'Oreal cover it girl. It was haute couture. In fact, when she came towards me on the red carpet, the first thing I, I completely blanked out. The first thing I said to her is, have you considered modeling? Yeah. And she was like, Oh yeah, I moved to London to become a model, but now I'm focusing on music. Well, she can definitely fall back on modeling. She looked like a L'Oreal cover girl, not just in her stage performance, but also on the red carpet. If you watch my interview with her on the red carpet, she looks naked the whole time because the camera cropped here. But she worked this stunning neckline, very low cut, showing off her stunning decolletage, her silky chest. The lower half was like an ostrich. Oh yeah, Glamorous beautifully ostrich. feathered, almost sort of hand sewn. And what's wonderful about Lavina is the way she walks. She just glides like she's red carpet ready. Done. Like an ostrich. Yeah, yeah. Really smooth. Well, like a peacock, really. Do ostriches <laughs> fly? Because she was taking flight. She just looked fierce. And I also like that she wore kind of a nude skin tone as well. Yes, and the makeup was very minimalist, really, in keeping with letting that garment speak for itself. Yeah. She wasn't trying to kind of overtake or fight with her couture. Yeah. But this was so on point. She slicked her hair back in the most fabulous way. It looked wet. And water, of course, is a building block of a Life, she gets it. Reminds me of the late Princess of Wales. You know, that kind yes. of hair thing, just slicking it back, just looking so fierce. Effortless. You know, if Diana was the people's princess, Lavina is a princess of the people. You can just relate to her. Girl next door, stunning, but you're not intimidated. And by the way, <laughs> she rose like 17 feet into the air. She was the tallest contestant on the red carpet. She was wearing sky-high stilettos, vertiginous heels, but she balanced. She carried the weight of her beauty well, on those six-inch heels. That's what the fashion industry calls for. Yes. You can't be a midget on the runway. No offense. Perfect life, perfect outfit. Lavina, well done. <laughs> Now, we move on to fourth place in our poll, and all I have to say is Chesh! Kate Moss from Poland! Kasia Moss! Totally on point. Beautiful. Again, all that beautiful detail at the base of her yes. skirt. It, I wasn't sure whether it was a two-piece or a one-piece, but there was so much mm. cohesion in what she was wearing. Again, going for that nude palette. Yeah, I love how she worked multiple layers on the bottom. She put a layer of translucent organza on top with floral elements, kind of like the Garden of Eden, and she was definitely Eve. You could see Adam and the snakes lining up. They wanted to get a piece of that. There was a thigh split underneath the translucent organza, so just the right amount of sex appeal. She went high on the waist. You could see some midriff, and then there's the white top. But accents of like light green, like emerald yeah. green, on the base of her train, and then a very loose ponytail. <sighs> just saying that I'm yeah. just keeping it. Cash. Yeah, she played a subtle but effective makeup game, working a natural palette, just a light dusting of blush and then a smear of bright Bl red yeah, lipstick. Yeah, blood I red mean. lipstick, she gets it. She gets it, she looked beautiful. She looked like the very kind girl next door who happens to be a supermodel Yeah, at Eurovision. Yeah, very relatable. Honestly, very. people associate Poland with kielbasa, with zebikanka, with Krakow with Pope John Paul, but I associate it with Kaja Mas. And fashion. I mean, Mikhail Spark won the yeah. uh, won the male version last year. I mean, like this. I think Amir did. Oh, what did Amir? Yeah. What was Mikhail Spark one of He was up there. He was up there, yeah. Three yeah. words, Warsaw Fashion Week. Yeah, done. She's beautiful. She's already been on covers all around the world. Playboy, naked. She doesn't need clothes to shine. <laughs> oh, in any case, she is your number four. Now, Devin, we've got to move on to number three. Triple Trouble! One, two, three, Lisa, Amy, who? And Shelly yeah. from the Netherlands. They oh, are OG. Gee. Look, they deserve this. They managed, two of them are twins. 
The three of them are sisters, yet they have individuality. Their voices sound different, they work different registers, and they work different looks, and yet there's cohesion. All three of them showed up in black, but different takes on black. Two of them go for the plunging neckline, while the other goes for the kind of off the shoulder, straight neck. And then there's the mid riff as well, which is bare on one of them, black shoes, without looking mournful. Yes. You know, this is black on fashion. This is black is back. This is forever black. Black never went away. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Trencha, we, we would love a Chris Halpin describe Trencha's Eurovision outfit, stage costume as kind of a slutty widow. Here you have women in black who don't cross the line. It looks appropriate, age appropriate, stylistically appropriate. It shows off their natural curves. Yes, it clings to every contour, but it does so in the most flattering and tasteful way. Um, Absolutely, and the good thing about black as well is that it gives them a uniform platform yes. to shine their own individual elements. So the one with yeah. blonde hair, the one with brown hair, the one with sort of red tones. You know, yeah. yeah, it just gives you a nice platform for you to just kind of express your own individuality within the group cohesion. This is really, really well thought out, very tasteful. And I love how one of them is holding these kind of panels. You know, she's like, I am a warrior princess. I am a fashion warrior ready to slay. Not just the Eurovision stage, but also the red carpet. Can we get some harmonies? Oh, oh. They get it. <laughs> We move on to number two, and Devin, it's your home girl. Lucy Jones from the United Kingdom. I have to say, the UK really thought it out this year. Yeah. They turned it up. Up their game. To the point where we're actually saying undeservedly low at 15th position. I must say, after the jury final, I did predict 15th place. It felt like 15th place, but it was a huge step forward, a huge step into 2017. I think ultimately it was too musical theater for Eurovision, and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. It's not a slight. But this is about the fashion. She looked amazing, and second place is deserved. She's a singer in bloom. I'm loving this kind of sweetheart top, hinting at her decolletage, the floral print. It's just blossom beautiful. And I love the way it's sort of accentuated, mm. sort of mid-riff with that yes. thing, you know, sort of ribbon that isn't tied. It just, it's just ruched yes. at the base. Uh, she looks really good. The makeup, again, is effortless. effortless. It's kind of... It's kind of country city girl. Country city girl working that natural palette. Rosie, I like how she enhances her already enviable silhouette by cinching at the waist and then letting it flow. As she walked down the red carpet, it really flowed. It moved. There was motion. This was just and fantastic. And text the boxes. They're almost like pastel colours that mm. you can find in the British flag. So yeah. it's just really clever. Going global but still respecting local. Yeah. But <laughs> she really, you know, but she of course is a musical theatre star, so she's used to dealing with big audiences from all over the world while also maintaining that West End essence. Yeah, and she's very graceful and just very likeable, very approachable. Very poised. Very poised and very British. Yeah, very British. They it's didn't give the most interviews though in, uh, what city were we in? Kiev. Because yeah. you know, the other stars, including the Big Five, were constantly kind of doing interviews. The UK weren't as generous with their time, but hey, it happens. But hey, she had no backing vocalists. She can't Did just she keep- not? No, wow. you can't keep talking That's and impressive. singing all of that. That's it's, very yeah. impressive. Yeah. A lot of power uh -huh. in that beautiful porcelain frame. In any case, drum roll for number one. Moving on to our number one, your oh, number one, 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 one most one, fashionable. One. Ooh la la, she comes from La France. Who is it? Alma! Oh, no surprises there, no though. I mean, this is Paris Fashion Week all over. She's Stunning. She is stunning, and she really, yeah, she's from France, but she didn't just wear French. I think she's wearing an Italian gown from Elisabetta Frischetti, the Italian designer. She looks fantastic. A very deep thigh split, showing off what God gave her, those silky thighs and legs. Daring without being a slut. Yes. You've got to give it to her. Peep toe sandals with black nail polish, showing off her perfectly pedicured toes. Black, but there's still lots of shimmer. Yeah. There's still lots of cutouts. Cutouts on the side, that. showing off. There are no love handles there. There is just love. A beautiful gold belt, bringing it together. Sleeveless, never, never slutty. Never showing off. What I much. love about Alma is that her hair is part of her wardrobe. Yeah. You know, she's not tying it. She is yeah. letting it flow. 
she is working the wind yes. on the red carpet and each time she stops the photos she turns it up. You uploaded a photo recently on our social media. Oh. oh. We're all sweaty and disgusting at the Wee Wee Jam on stage. Alma steps up, bam. <laughs> Natural glow. L'Oreal Paris, Estee Lauder. Call this cover girl. I also like that on the red carpet she worked a dark lip. That is very daring. And yes. red. She said, I'm going vampish. I'm going purple and I'm still gonna slay. Yeah. Without being a freak fest. Yeah, it, the poise, you know, there was a very sexy detail, an ankle strap around her stiletto. That's very naughty. Yeah. It hints yeah. at sadomasochism and she worked it. She's great, she's great, because others could have put that on and go, I mean, Agnesia is trying to park, you know, she likes the dark sort yeah. of out there. But, you know, for the red carpet, it kind of it is a bit mis appropriation right. but Alma takes it in and slays with it. It just looks good. You know, there's a reason she stood on stage and turned it into a runway. She can't help it. Everywhere she she's walks, great. it's a runway. Yana Brochesca may have sang about it, but Alma is adopting And she's it. really tall as well, so clothes just look good on her. She's thin, she's beautiful, but you know what's most important? She's nice. Yeah, Alma yeah, yeah. is very, she very is nice. Very nice. Down to earth, not a diva. No, no. And you know what I like about her as Tell well? Tell me. She has those off moments when she's not bothered. I mean, like when I interviewed her on a yacht, you know, she yeah. wasn't done up. She was just t shirt and yeah. shorts and. Taking and in she, the sun. And she can roll with that. She's not going, hold on a second while yeah. I just powder my face. Well, she's lucky she's got that face. She doesn't need to worry about it. Unlike some of these other people. I'm just kidding. It's like us. Unlike us. In any case, that's what we think. What do you think? Did the right woman win? Are you la, 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 are you satisfied with our top five? Who is your red carpet winner among the ladies? You can let us know here on Wee Vlogs. Wait a minute, I need to powder my face. Oh my god, <laughs> we're gonna be a while. <laughs> be sure to like, subscribe, add your comments, and follow us on Instagram, YouTube, Snapchat, Pinterest, Tumblr. Did you say Facebook? Facebook. Yeah, and we will see you later.